Kale, don't get your hopes up. And instead, unsurprisingly, it's the Lissandra for Abadage in the mid lane. So it's going to be Galio support, Yoik up towards the top, and Lissandra. In a situation where Kikis could have contested the red. Kikis uses the Spiderling just to chuck it in there. Memento gets cocooned up. Kikis maybe just looking to get out of this one because Abadage is on his way up as well. Memento flashes for the slow with the auto with the red buff. Kikis flashes away. Profit's trying to force back that top lane, but Kikis is already so low. Memento gets the first kill. And Profit is forced back in the top lane as well. Okay, let's be frank here. Sent back. This is a potential dive threat, knowing that there's no jungle assistance. Dark Procession comes out. Abadage caught in the mid lane, though. Can't get away with the Glacial Path once again. The Senkers will take him out. Ignite used from Wadid for the assist. But Lissandra is a comfort pick for him. You can sort of isolate him, pressure him in the early game, really push him back. This is good stuff from Schalke. They got can do a little bit more. Oh, hold on. Abadage caught out. Actually, Cocoon doesn't leak, but the Rome Prison will. Abadage took the short glacial path to chase still in from Zenkux. And once again... Everything is set up and ready. You have all ultimates available that they need. Ignar doesn't flash him with the taunt. They decide against it, but Hiku turns it back around, and now Memento's just going to come in. They use the ammo, but Hiku devoured up by Wadid. Flashes away into the Cataclysm. He's not going to have the time to use the thick skin. Shao could get a kill. But disappointed. Well, at least it's still there. Actually, it looks like they go for the engage onto Odoamne. Kikis had just waited in the bush. Odoamne steps so a little bit too fed on this back. He's going to have ridiculous items. So uh, it wasn't about camping Prophet's lane. It was about isolating and it. In he the lane, Shao trying to do something towards the bottom side of the map as they do have a little bit of an opening. Memento lands the smite. The frozen two comes out and actually looks like Kikis just overextended there. Went for the smite fight. Or a Rift Herald. When Shalka are finding it, it just kill gold. Memento coming in here. There's a hero's entrance as well. Second's gonna flash away, but the chase is on. Abadage there. The taunt comes out. It's another good kill for sure. Oh, ammo lands. Abadage doesn't have the flash. Gets caught in the CC chain. Straight into the lane, trying to push it out with his team. Tower's gonna fall in the mid lane. Uh, and Schalke. Uh, teams in the LEC. Uh, I'm a little bit apprehensive. Sankok's caught out. Here's the hero's entrance as well. Memento Abadage should be able to take this one out. They get the kill. And as Sankets will fall. Oh, the will finally get this top lane tower. It keeps the gold pretty even as well. Only about 700 gold in it now, Cautiously first. Cautiously as possible. Here we go. So Memento in. There's the Cataclysm. Hubs is going to jump forward as well. Here comes the Realm Warp. Everyone's joining the fight in the mid lane. Ignar with a good taunt, but Memento gets flanked by Prof. And already that's one down. Upset now forced away. Abadage fighting with Senkooks down towards the bottom side of the fight. Caught up though with so much damage coming out. Kick his flash forward. Oduwane puts him in the cage. It's only one so far. Senkooks gets the damage down though. Great plan from Senkooks. Now has the completed Seraphs as well. The Dragon is going to go down for Rogue. Now Prophet down towards the bottom side. Should be able to get this tower pretty easily. You can see the hypercharged damage coming out from that Jace going towards the Black. Lever next, which will help him even more in the side lane against Odo Wamne. And Schalke, they tried to make it. To let you kill him, he is so frustrating. Oh, Kikis here, caught out. Memento can't go in with Cataclysm. Kikis goes golden. He, he pings, and there's no one there to help you, my man. You are done for. Upset gets his first here. Odo Wamne actually joining up with his team, bringing the maiden in. They will take down this mid lane tower and uh, just continue to keep four. that going. Maybe a one through one occasionally, but they're looking to group up and to start forcing big uh, big fights. Dragon oh, Odoamne just diving under the tower here. Tanabot comes in straight away, and Sekers roots him down. Odoamne trying to get away, but the Realm War's gonna chase them. Hero's entrance comes out, Odo already dead, and maybe Ignaz got into his doom, but the Abyssal Voyage comes out. You can see there's gonna be a massive fight. This is a 4v3 in favor of Schalke, at least nowhere to be found. Prophet crashes away, but gets caught in the Cataclysm. We did eat up Hiq, goes golden, Hiq spat out. Prophet's still alive, they get the cocoon. But actually, goes golden in the right moment, but Hiq lands a great arrow, and maybe he can turn it around. No, he's burst down! Schalke come out on top, Kikis tries to get away, escape the tour, but the justice push comes in from Igna. They're not going to look for the dive. Upset hits the long range Void Seeker, but Schalke come out on type and take down the tower. Very. Schalke, the arrow lands, but only onto Odo Amne. The Baron will go down and Rogue too slow to answer. Good call from Schalke to put forward for the tower. This is going to be a huge loss for Rogue. They know that there's three members, like you said, so they're going to be able to just walk this one for free down the mid lane. At least an inhibitor tower here in the mid lane, you have to feel. You can see Abadage up towards the top side is pushing for these tier two in the top lane as well. That will fall pretty quickly to the double cannon wave. Schalke not going to overextend for the inhib, but they will. It was a bit clearer, but... They have some time after this day. The inhib is the target for Schalke in the mid lane, and they will get it pretty darn easily. 31 minutes. Or if they're just going to play it very slow and very calculated, I think so much is on the slow. line. There's too much on the line for them to really just go for the 50 50 play. Even if they lost the 50 50, though, they wouldn't lose the game off it, right? They, they may say, okay, we can be a little bit more brave, a little bit more courageous and force a, a fight, but instead, waiting for the next waves to come in, they just want this second inhibitor out of it. Upset across here. Rogue 
maybe looking for a trigger to pull. They have the entire crystal arrow, but Schalke, they're not going to force that confidence. Or is it just win the game? It's a very low risk, high reward play. It's not to get away. Kickers misses the cocoon, and Upset's going to turn it back around. Momentum forced away by Profit, but Upset jumps forward. Kickers goes golden. You can see the taunt coming out from England, the TP as well. The taunt lands onto Elise. We did flashes away, but the Cataclysm comes down, and there's the hero's entrance as well. We did going to be sacrificed for saving his jungler. We did will fall, and now Schalke maybe just look for the push. 4v5, they can just go for the they end. They to just run through the mid lane, but I don't mind this call right now. Take down the inhibitor tower using Oda Wamley in that mid lane alongside the Maiden just to continue the wave pressure, continue the slew of minions pushing in to the road base. Schalke looking for the third inhib of the game. And it should be a pretty easy secure for them. Ignar stepping forward with the taunt. They'll take down the inhib, then they'll back away. Reset, 30 seconds left on the Baron. Take that. All the waves and Rogue are going to have to answer them. Maybe going for the catch here on to Wadiz. Face check straight into Upset and Oberwami. Put in the Dark Procession. Melmont coming out as well. There's the arrow. Profit going in as Hiku joins the fight. And Schalke actually could just take this one from the side. Zabadage jumps onto the back line. It's a double kill for Upset already. And the rest of Rogue have to run for the hills. The chase comes out. Schalke will catch out Senkos, who does a lot of damage at the moment. Profit force down. Senkos going to flash away, but straight into the face of the minion waves. And Upset flashes forward. Upset goes legendary. The Kaiser gets the kill. The minions are on the Nexus. And Schalke should have this game in the back. And here comes the teleport. Like you said, just methodical, clean, slow. They get an extra bonus kill just for their time. Yeah, just puts up set at 9-0-2 for the game. Schalke keep their playoff hopes alive with a convincing win against Rome. But it's not over yet. No. We are guaranteed a tiebreaker, though, Frost. And I know how much European fans love their ties. No, but we do love League of Legends, so more League of Legends I'm always going to be a fan of. Hey, the good thing for Schalke is they know that they at least have one more game to play to determine their playoff lives, right? They, they are at least going to have a tiebreaker for that sixth spot. Even if SK win, they will have a tiebreaker. And it makes it just a lot more secure for them. They can be pretty happy with that performance, a, a weak early game, but they were able to slow it down, keep the tempo where they wanted, and then fight back when they saw their opportunities and still showing that they are strong once they're grouped up as a five-man unit. Unfortunately for Rogue, though, the, the journey has ended for playoffs, but their spring split project ends here. It does. But the good thing about long-term partnerships is it's a long-term project sometimes. You have to work out what works for you. You have to find the best player coordination that works for you as well. You know, we've seen what didn't profit in. We've seen Vandervin. We've seen Finn. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, Experimentation in the off-season will give Rogue a newfound life coming into